This is Tom Fredrickson with the Victorian Woodshop. This video is going to talk about our bracket buddies that we have to go on your porch in between your porch brackets. Now you probably are looking at this video because you've been to the website. Go to victorianwoodshop.com and you can see all of our regular porch brackets. And what these are designed to do is to hang in between your porch brackets. Now I brought a few of them out today to kind of explain the process if you're not familiar with it. Let's uh, assume that these are just the bracket designs that you've got. And you've got them on your porch, you have a standard opening of say seven or eight feet. And of course the brackets are going to cover a couple of feet on either end. But you might want something to go in between the brackets. And that's where the bracket buddies come in. They don't have to be really complicated. And you can have small ones, kind of right in the center. Or you can have long ones that go, you know, all the way across. I've even had customers that will put them repeated patterns going across really long openings. Now it's an excellent way to dress up that main entrance way that goes up to your front porch as well. You wouldn't have to necessarily put them in all the openings if you don't want to. It just dresses up that initial opening coming up to your front door and kind of gives an overall look. They're not really expensive to add on to your order and I think it's a nice thing to do. Now we can do them two ways. <clears throat> Some of the bracket buddies like the one I have in my hand, have a lip on the end of it that makes it a little bit easier to hang upside down, put a nail or a screw in, and attach. Some of the other ones are designed, they're not quite as easy to do. And you may want to go ahead and have me frame them here in the shop. And we do have a video on our framing, I'll try to put a link up to that on that page as well. I take solid redwood, cut down to about an inch and three quarters, bevel the edges, countersink holes, and go ahead and attach them to the end of the board so that you can put them up quite easily. And we offer the framing option on all of our brackets as well. There's one with a frame on it. Some people like them, some don't. Kind of a matter of taste. Now another thing we can do is on our headers, windows and door header pages. Now these are primarily designed to sit on top of a window sill or a door or one of those recesses but you can hang them upside down, make them an inch thick so they match the brackets, put a bracket buddy frame on it, and you can kind of have those going across as well. I brought another example out. Kind of do double duty. You can also tie these in as well to your windows and door headers so that you have an overall flow around the house of using kind of the same products. Another thing we can use on bracket buddies is trim. Now I make trim in a variety of heights, widths, thicknesses, the whole bit. But they can be run clear across your porch in between the porch brackets. Here's kind of a, let me grab another one so we're not using the same bracket all the time. And that kind of gives you an idea. And then again, they can also be put on a support frame. But in this particular case, if you're going to be running all the way across the porch, say a six to eight foot opening, you may be better off of just going to your local home improvement center and picking up a two by two strip of wood. Mailing an eight foot long board through the mail is a little, little expensive, a little overboard. You can do it. It's not that hard to do. And then when you have your piece cut, you can just attach the sections to the thing and put it all up as one unit. Well, I hope this explains the process a little bit. If you have any questions, please do give us a call. That's what we're here for. For right now, this is Tom Fredrickson with the Victorian Woodshop.